So let's read the problem here real quick. So it says the perimeter of a uh, perimeter of a rectangle is 46 inches. We're going to find the dimensions or find the dimensions if the length is five inches greater than twice the width. So this is the problem that I'm going to solve step by step. Of course, if you want to pause the video and, and give it a whirl after I kind of give you a general structure, definitely encourage you to do that. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, well, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. So let's get to the problem, and let's read it, right? Let's read it again, right? So here, uh, the perimeter of a rectangle. Hmm. Okay, we're dealing with a what? A rectangle. So let's just stop and think about this. And we're dealing with the perimeter. So what is that? Okay, well, the here's a rectangle. Just kind of sketched it out. The perimeter is the total sum of the sides here. So in other words, if I have this side, okay, and I add it to this side, and then I add it to this side, and I add it to this side, this total sum is the perimeter. Now, the re on a, a rectangle, we're dealing with a rectangle here, okay, this distance is the same as this distance, okay? And this distance is the same as this distance on uh, when we're dealing with a rectangle. So if you didn't know those basic facts about a rectangle, well, then you're gonna you know, have a difficult time answering this question. So you have to know that, right? And you gotta know what the perimeter means. So if you didn't know what those uh, terms are, well, then now you know, okay? So basic math concepts. Um, so let's move on and continue to read and reread this problem so we're crystal clear on what it's, what it's asking. All right, so the perimeter of a rectangle is 46. Okay, interesting. If I add up all these sides, uh, it's 46 inches. Now, we want to find the dimensions. Oh, okay, what's that? Well, I want to find the length and width. That's the dimensions, right, uh, of this particular rectangle. So I want to find the dimensions or find the dimensions if the length Okay, now we're getting some like additional information here. So if the length here is five inches greater than twice the width. So this is the width right here. This is the length right there. Okay, so now I've got to kind of like figure out what this means and then figure out this problem. Okay, so uh, now we have to kind of think about mm, variables, okay? So let's go ahead and draw a little sketch. You can see I already did this problem in advance, but let's just kind of look at it right here, right? A little bit neater. So here is a nice lovely rectangle and we have the, our width and we have our length. So let's call this uh, our width W. So when you're in algebra, always use variables that kind of make sense, right? I'm not gonna call this like G or X, you know, I could call this X or, but it's 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 kind of nice uh, to use a variable that represents the word, okay? So we're talking about width, so let's use W as our variable. So this is our width, we don't know it, right? This is our width. And then we need to figure out what the length is. Now this is where we have to go back and reread the problem, okay? Remember I told you about read, we got to read the problem again. So let's go back and make sure that we know what the length is is uh, going to be because the length is going to be related to the width. So, all right. So the length, all right. So let's uh, kind of do this here. You could say I already have it written out, but let's just kind of pretend that we were figuring this out together. So the length is now this word is in algebra it means equal. Okay five inches greater. So what's, uh, let's just kind of say five, it's some, if something's greater, okay, than five inches, that means that we're gonna add five to something, okay? Whoops, that's a terrible five. Uh, so we're gonna add five inches, okay? The length is gonna be five inches greater than what? Than twice the width, okay? So this is five inches greater than the width, but it's saying five inches greater than twice the width, so that would be not just the width, I gotta double that, 2w, okay? So that would that's the length. So we're gonna let 2w plus five be equal to our length. And now I can kind of see this graphically here in my figure, okay? Now, if I was your math teacher and you're turning your math test to me, 
I would want to see this setup right here, okay? And you got to tell me what the variables stand uh, or represent. Okay, let uh, w equal the width and let 2w plus 5 equal the length. And here it is in my lovely diagram. Now we're ready to kind of rock and roll and figure out what the perimeter is. Now, again, we got to know by definition, what is the perimeter? Well, it's this side plus this side plus this side plus this side. And we know uh, by definition that if this is the width over here, okay, whatever uh, measurement this is, it's the same thing over here, okay? And over here, this length is also going to be 2w plus 5. So I'm going to add this, all these guys up right here, right? All these expressions up. And I'm told, got to go back and reread the problem, right? You're like, oh boy, he wasn't, he wasn't lying what about, about reading, okay? Yeah, no, I'm, listen, I've been doing this stuff for a long time, okay? And I'm telling you right now, read, reread, go back to the problem. So the perimeter of the rectangle is 46 inches. Hmm, okay, 46 inches. So now remember I said we want to set up some sort of equation. So if I add all these guys up, I know the answer is going to be 46 inches. But, you know, all this information just like this isn't going to help me out, okay? I need to establish some sort of relationship such that I can solve for this missing variable w, okay? Well, how do I do that? Well, let's go ahead and make an equation, okay? We need an equation. I know if I add all these guys up, uh, this is going to be 46. So one way you can do this is this way, all right? Okay, the width, how many widths do I have? Well, I have, let's go back up here. I have two widths, so if I just double the widths, or I can go w plus uh, w, that's going to give me 2w, or I have this width times 2. Okay, it doesn't make a difference uh, how you want to think about it. Both ways would be okay. So if you gave me a w, a 2w plus 5 plus a 2w plus 5 to show me the entire perimeter equation, that's fine. Or we could just take twice of uh, one side to represent this. So 2 times, uh, two times is 2w plus 5. This right here is a representation of the perimeter, and we know it's equal to 46 inches. So at this um, juncture in the problem, we need to employ our skills. Again, I wasn't lying to you in the beginning. Okay, word problems are an application of the math skills that you've been studying. So here, this is uh, something on the pre-algebra, algebra, algebra uh, level, you know, in terms of solving uh, equations. So you need to have equation solving skills. Okay, so hopefully all of you out there can uh, solve this equation. If you're struggling with solving equations, definitely check out my videos and my algebra and pre-algebra uh, playlist on equation solving, or better yet, just jump into my algebra one or pre-algebra course. Okay, so here we go. So this is gonna be 2w, and I'm gonna use a distributor property here. Okay, two times 2w is 4w. I already have a 2w, and then two times five is 10. So Let's go ahead and add like terms. 2w and 4w gives me 6w. 6w plus 10 is equal to 46. Now, uh, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and subtract 10 from both sides of the equation. All right, now, if, you, if this is confusing to you, you need to review, you know, basic equation solving. So now I have 6w is equal to 36. Divide both sides of the equation by 6. I get w is equal to 6. So... You know, if you were able to get this on your own, definitely give yourself a big, big old happy face and A+. Plus. Matter of fact, you might so impress your math teacher. They might just say, you know what, just take the math book and go home. You don't even need to show up in class. I will deliver your A+, plus at the end of the course because you are awesome. Listen, you're on the right track. If you're able to do this and you, you know, basically structure this problem in this manner, that's excellent. But now we got to read the problem again. Why do I have to read the problem again? Because we got to make sure that we answer the question. If you stopped here because you were so excited, you're like, W equals six. Look at me. I'm so awesome. And then I would have to go ahead and take some points off. And then you would be like this. You'd be like, what are you talking about? Yeah, I, I did it right. I did everything right. No, no, no. I want the dimensions. I want the dimensions of this uh, rectangle. You're like, oh, okay. You know, no, you just told me W is equal to six, but what is the length? Well, I got to go plug in. If W is equal to six, all right, so this W, I got to plug in the six for it. So two times six, all right, is 12 plus five is 17. So the dimensions of this rectangle is six by 17, six by 17. 
inches. So that's what I want. That's the final answer. Okay. So be careful uh, with word prompts. Okay. The secret yeah, is what? One, obviously, got to build your math skills. And two, read, 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 read until you really, really make sure you uh, you know what you're doing. Okay. No need for sad faces. Remember, uh, everyone can look like this at the end of your problem and your test. All right. It's just a process. Okay. So with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.